Have you ever seen a mysterious file called core appear after a crash? That's a core dump, and it tells a powerful story. In Linux, when a process receives certain fatal signals, like SIGSEG for invalid memory access or SIGABERT for an abort, it doesn't just die. It can create a core dump file before terminating. A core dump is basically a snapshot of the program's entire memory at the moment of the crash. Think of it as freezing time right when the bug happens. This file contains the stack, heap, registers, and other internal state. Developers can load it into tools like GDB to see exactly what went wrong, line numbers, variables, call stacks, everything. Core dumps are controlled by settings like ulimit c slash proc slash sys slash kernel slash core underscore pattern, and whether the program has permission to create them. If enabled, they're invaluable for debugging. So whenever Linux creates a core file, it's not just noise, it's a detailed crash report that can help you diagnose and fix the problem fast.